Hello everyone, today we're back in Blue Archive and going to be taking a look at the base defense and how to efficiently 3-star these stages. So sweeping these stages is going to be the best way to obtain report cards and level up your students. And since we're currently in an event where the number of report cards rewarded are doubled, I figured it was a good time to make this video. In this video, I'll be giving you all two team compositions and strategies I've used not only to 3-star these stages, but also 3-star them at lowest teacher level possible. Uh, the first team composition I'll show will be the one I use and find most optimal with the units I had. And then I'll also have an additional second team composition that will be a more free-to-play friendly comp. Without further ado, let's take a look at team composition number one. So this is the first composition I wanted to show, and it's the one I've been using to push content. I've been able to clear the base defense that's recommending level 50 with level 40 units with this composition. How it basically works is you'll alternate between Lori and Nonimi to uh, clear the waves, but I'll get into a live demo later. First, I'm just going to show what each of my units have equipped in terms of levels and equipment, just so we're on the same page before the live clear. The first is my Subaki. She is notably 3-star, which definitely will help you a ton. And if you do 3-star her, you're probably more likely to clear these stages at lower teacher levels. Ayuka doesn't really have anything noteworthy. And then Lori has nothing. And now Nonomi has nothing, except I did level the EX skill up to level 2. I'll get into whether or not you would need to do this at the end of the video if you stick around till then. And now in terms of supports, I'm using Serena, and she has the self-targeted heal at level 3, which will help quite a bit if you can get this as high as possible. And then Haramo, who has nothing at all, really. Alright, let's get into the live clear. Okay, so going to be demonstrating this first team composition on stage 5 and 3-starring it. Now if you're at a lower teacher level and doing these stages, or at a higher teacher level and trying to clear stage 8, the strategies will still apply. All that changes is the HP of the enemies and the damage they do. The actual map doesn't change at all. Let's get into it. In terms of team formation, I like to just put my tanks on the very edge. I find that this formation is just the most consistent, though it doesn't matter too much. And I'm going to explain the strategy just as I play. Basically, we're going to alternate killing the waves between Lori and Nonomi, and alternate tanking the waves between Yuka and Tsubaki. For this first wave, I'll just use my Lori to clear it. Always kill this yellow guy first. I'll use the Lori uh, about now. And we don't get Kotama or Serena, which is unfortunate, but playing the Tsubaki taunt here is fine. I never play Yuka's ability. So now we're going to use Serena to uh, make Yuka go ahead of my Tsubaki here, so Yuka tanks this wave. My Nonomi just self-buffed herself, so now with Kotama buff on top of that, Nonomi has a times 2 multiplier. And now we'll play Nonomi here, and she'll one-shot this whole wave. Okay, there's a few stragglers here, but it's not a big deal. So Lori's going to clear this next wave now. And now with Serena, I think I think I'm just gonna get this Subaki more ahead of Yuka, so Subaki will just do all the rest of the tanking. And now we'll do Kotama, and now Nonomi will clear this wave. We'll let them group a bit. Okay, I think about now is a good time to burn my Nonomi, and now Lori will clear the next wave. So we'll run up towards the door. Now when you're like up towards the door, it means you're doing pretty well. Because if you're up here, you're going to get a pretty good time. So Lori will clear this. We'll just get Subaki more up in there. And then Kotama buff. And now Nonomi should finish the rest off here. So we'll kind of let the enemies all trickle out. And I think that's about all of them. So let's kill them all with Nonomi. Nice, that's the map cleared. 
It looks like we have about five seconds remaining. It's a bit tight, but it's not too difficult to pull off with this composition. Let's show the free-to-play composition next. So if you don't have a Lori or a Sumire, then you'll need to use Zonko to clear this. Um, and this composition is what I recommend. It is a lot harder to clear with Zunko, and the tanks just take more damage overall since it's just less reliable wave clear. So I did level my tanks up to level 43 to uh, more reliably clear it with this composition, but it's still a bit iffy even at this level. That said, this is the best formation I find, having the Zunko on the very end here and then spreading out the tanks to alternate between damage. So let's try to clear stage 5 with this composition now. Right, so here we are in stage 5, and for this lineup to work, you really want to roll the Zunko first, which I do have in my opening uh, hand, I guess is what we'll call it. So we'll play the Zunko pretty much immediately to clear the lane the Zunko's in, which is why I put her in this formation. And what will happen is Yuka will run slightly ahead of the Tsubaki, so that's why we want to make sure this we get this uh, formation here. So I, similar to the other composition, you just buff the Nonomi, wait for Nonomi to buff herself, and then have Nonomi just completely wreck havoc. Now here, I'm gonna try to play Serena to, uh, I'll just top off my Yuka, I think. This composition, it is like a little bit more variable for sure, I find. Anyways, we'll then use the Zunko and just try to do our best to hit as many as possible. Okay, and then we just buff the Nonomi. Nonomi just buffed herself. So now we're just going to wait to play Nonomi. It looks like Tsubaki used her emergency heal here, so we'll probably need to get Yuka to tank the remaining of the damage. Um, Alright, let's get Yuka to run up, and now do our best just to hit as many as possible with uh, my Zunka, and then Nonomi should just be able to wipe the rest out. Alright, and now hopefully we can just kill the rest here. Unfortunately, we weren't able to push up to the door, which makes it the fastest, but this should be fine. Usually, ideally, you do push up to the door, so we will need to just have Zunko uh, clear the remaining. We probably should have waited a bit on the earlier no new me ult. I think it's missing the 3 star by 3 seconds there. 3 star I think is 55 seconds, so technically didn't get it, but I think this shows the basic strategy with this lineup. Alright, that's it for this clear guide. Thanks everyone for watching, and you all take it easy. Peace.